Okay, so I had completely zero plans of getting another vehicle. And then this thing popped up. This is a 1981 Oldsmobile 98 Regency. That is in absolutely wonderful condition. With 89,000, I believe, original miles. And... the diesel engine and I couldn't pass it up it is just about completely loaded with everything you could get in 81 except the Astro roof it was a one owner car up until three years ago I believe and it has since had two short-term owners until I got it this past weekend interior essentially looks like it just rolled off the showroom floor absolutely perfect the seats are clean it's original factory floor max that one's got a little dust on it the rest of them don't Digital clock still works. It has the factory gauge package, which is very rarely ordered. Oil pressure, water temperature on that side, voltmeter on this side, along with the usual speedometer and idiot lights. Let's take a quick look under the hood. Well, look in the back seat real quick. If possible, it's even cleaner than the front. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Headliner was just replaced by the previous owner, so it's perfect as well. And the famous Oldsmobile 350 5.7 liter diesel V8. 1981 had the improved DX block. Uh, it is based on the architecture of the gasoline 350, but is not a converted gasoline engine. No matter what anybody tells you, they use the same bore and stroke so they could reduce tooling expenses on this on converting the new assembly line. But it was designed originally as a diesel block with diesel heads. Their first attempt at it didn't go so well, so they came out with the improved DX block, which was thicker this year and had improved metallurgy properties. And the DX blocks did very well. Uh, they had also improved head bolts by this point and had pretty much eliminated most of the problems they had with the original engines. Uh, the only thing they never put on these things was a water separator, so they still had some problems there. This year they did put a water and fuel indicator so that if you got an excessive amount of water in the tank it would warn you with a light on the dash. So that was at least something there. The bumper fillers have rotted and disintegrated on most corners. The little part's still pretty good on the front. It's kind of bubbled up with the paint on the back. So we'll have to get some new ones of those at some point. And we'll start it. It's about 42 degrees this morning, I think, so it's not a cold start per se we'll call it a cool start
So anyway, just wanted to do a quick video. Let everybody see. Just about as perfect as you could get on a 38-year-old car. Missing a couple of trim pieces behind the front wheels. I have one for one side, don't know where the other one is. So we'll have to locate some of those as well. But there it is, beautiful car.